Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm 11 years old, and I'm an organist. Hi, I'm Gibson, and I am 12 years old, and I play the organ. Hi, I'm Natalie, and I'm Lillian. We're, we're 10, 10 years old, and we're organists. Erica, and I'm 12 years old, and I'm an organist. I've been studying since September 11th, 2018. I have been studying the organ since 2015. the organ we are nine years old and the organ is our first instrument since fall 2018 and organ is my first instrument. I have two great experiences with the organ. The first one is I got to play at the tabernacle and play Ode to Joy. The second is I got to play Toccata in D minor at a Bach organ. My name is Miriam, and I'm 10 years old, and I'm also an organist. Organ is my first instrument. Some of the pieces that I have learned or am learning are Liebster Hezu Wir sind hier, Hezu Joy of Men's Desiring, and Choral Prelude on Wacket Arf, Rift in die Stimme, all by Bach. and I am an adjunct professor of organ at the Brigham Young University School of Music. Over the past few years, I have been experimenting with teaching children under the age of 10 to play the organ as their first instrument. We call our program Organ First. Organ First is three things, a philosophy, a research program, and a curriculum. At Organ First, our philosophy is that children can begin their musical lives as organists. We believe that elementary school age children are especially suited to learn the physical and musical skills needed to play the organ, including the pedals. In fact, children may learn such skills more quickly and naturally than adults.
We have discovered in our research so far that in fact, young organists learn remarkably quickly. They don't just survive, they thrive, learning to read music and play well within a surprisingly short period of time. After a few successful experiments with individual students, we decided to sponsor a full-fledged children's organ class. On September 11, 2018, our Organ First research class began. Our initial class consisted of 13 students between the ages of 6 and 10. Most were 8 or 9 years old. None had studied music previously outside of general music taught in school except for one or two students who had taken a couple of months of piano lessons at some time in the past. We did not accept any students who could already read music. Class was held for one hour, twice a week, in the organ lab at the Brigham Young University School of Music, which contains 12 organs equipped with headphones. I was assisted by two or three undergraduate organ majors who helped provide individual attention to each student as part of their undergraduate pedagogy class. Many teachers in the past have hesitated to teach young children to play the pedals because of their height. It has also been difficult to find organ shoes for children since manufacturers of organ shoes tend to only produce adult sizes. However, we found that most of our young students were already tall enough to reach the pedals all but three, including our six-year-old. We measured our students' leg height in bare feet from the ground to the middle of their knees and found that a minimum length of 14 and a half inches is required for a youngster to reach the pedals with both toes and heels. Students who cannot rest both their heels and toes on the pedals often develop poor technique because their toes remain pointed at all times. Although most of our eight-year-olds were tall enough to reach the pedals, some were too short and remained so as late as age 11. For the three Organ First students who were too short to reach the pedals, we provided pedal boosters. Early on, I had tried using pedal extenders, which are pedal-shaped blocks that clip onto an individual pedal and raise its height by four to six inches. However, as students progress in their pedal skills, using pedal extenders becomes increasingly awkward and inadequate. Pedal extenders are not designed to be used while playing rapidly or with heels. They also do not provide the vital experience of learning to feel your way around a true pedal board. To address this problem, during the 2016 to 2017 school year, Don Cook and I designed and built a pedal booster that sits on top of a regular AGO standard pedal board. Our first prototype was used by eight-year-old Charlie, who started playing the organ at age six and was now using up to ten pedals in a single piece. Charlie used our prototype pedal booster from the time we finished it in early 2017 until he finally grew tall enough to reach the pedals without it just a few months ago. Our pedal boosters are manufactured by an excellent carpenter and are now available for purchase at ardpublications.com. A single pedal booster in a church or studio could grant access to the pedals to many young students over many years. We also required organ shoes for the youngsters in our organ first class. Oxford style shoes with flexible suede covered soles can be found on Amazon listed as ballroom dance shoes for boys. They are relatively inexpensive and work very well as organ shoes. Because we could find no organ specific curriculum that taught music reading and pedal playing at the same time, we decided to develop our own. The Organ First curriculum was created especially for children. It consists of three parts, a music reading course, a set of performance pieces to integrate manual and pedal skills, and a theory and technique course. For music reading, we worked with Wayne Leopold. In August of 2017, he visited BYU for our annual organ workshop, and we showed him our new pedal booster. He was enthusiastic and agreed to produce a series of beginning pedal books to go along with his Discover the Basics Prim or Keyboard series. For our organ first class, we used Pedal Basics books A and B alongside Discover the Basics books A and B. Mr. Leopold is also developing pedal books to be used alongside Discover the Basics books C and D. In addition to using Discover the Basics to learn note reading, manual, and pedal skills, we created a set of pieces to teach our children to play the manuals and pedals together. 
called Organ First Performance Pieces. These pieces correlate with Discover the Basics, but require more extensive use of hands and feet simultaneously. They are designed to require the full pedal skills Organ First students are learning, not just a single heel or toe held down while the manuals play or vice versa. We carefully created a step-by-step -step plan to gradually increase manual pedal coordination right from the beginning. Our performance pieces have proved key to solidifying our students advancing organ skills. They are available for a nominal price at organfirstmusic.com. Finally, we introduced a theory and technique curriculum that helped our students progress more quickly. By the end of level A, they were comfortable with rapidly playing five finger positions and triads in every major key. They understood and could read sharps and flats, had learned a few composition concepts, and were ready to learn major scales and eighth notes. The early introduction of these concepts, along with the notion that they could play with ease some things that they could not yet read easily, set the stage for learning more challenging pieces than they could otherwise have managed during their first few months of music lessons. Our theory and technique curriculum is also available at organfirstmusic.com. At the end of the first semester, our students participated in a wonderful field trip to play the tabernacle organ on Temple Square in Salt Lake City. It was beautiful to hear their expressiveness and see their odd faces as they played this magnificent instrument. Three students dropped out during the first semester due to attendance issues, but five of the remaining ten opted to remain in class through a second semester. These five included Miriam, Gibson, Erica, Natalie, and Lillian, who are all still studying the organ, and they really love it. We are continuing to write pieces for them, short and engaging works that will appeal to and challenge our child organists. All our materials can be found at wayneleopold.com and organfirstmusic.com.